Hey guys, today we are at Osaka Station heading to Kyoto. From Osaka to Kyoto, it's like Tokyo to Yokohama. It is close. If you use the rapid train, it only takes about 30 to 40 minutes without using Shinkansen. Yes, it's the regular train price. You see the wet one over there? That special rapid train? Yes, that one is the fastest one. Leaving from track number 8. Here. If you want to take a seat, make sure to make a line in the white one. Yes, this is the special rapid one, Shinkaisoku. The yellow one is for the regular rapid train. So if you want to sit down, again, make sure to make the line, the white one. Well, you have to stay in the train over 30 minutes and also you have to walk a lot in Kyoto Station. So definitely you want to find a seat. All right, sweet. We still have a seat. It's October 17th, Tuesday. Seems like today, we still have many empty seats. Yes, finally we arrived to Kyoto Station. Inside the train, it was a little bit hot, so I took off my jacket. By the way, today it's 24 degrees. However, in the nighttime, it becomes about 15 degrees. So definitely, if you are visiting Japan, you need a light jacket. There are so many travelers coming back to Japan in autumn season. So in this video, I will show you guys how the Kyoto looks like. Hopefully, this video will help for your next Japan trip. Oh, by the way, hey guys, welcome back to Rise TV. I'm Ryan Seno. All right, so let's go to Arashiyama first. Arashiyama is a really popular place for the bamboo forest. So if you are going to Soga Arashiyama from Kyoto Station, take the train from truck number 31 to 33. By the way, I will come back to Kyoto Station later and show you guys how it looks like. So firstly, let's go to Arashiyama. Today, we use the local train. It takes only 16 minutes. Yes, it's truck number 33. Before heading there, I want to grab some drink. Oh, look at that. That's a crab soup. Interesting. By the way, you see the blue one. Those are the cold drink and the red one. Those are the warm drink. So if you are looking for the warm drink, make sure to get the red one. It says attakai, attakai. Yes, attakai means warm in Japanese. Let's get the coffee. Yes, it's Attakai. Seems like this train is coming here each 20 minutes. Hmm, not that many, huh? All right, let's go. Seems like no seats available here. However, here is the magic hidden tip. Oh, it doesn't open. <laughs> Usually it opens, but seems like today it doesn't open. So never mind. By the way, in this train, there is a restroom inside. So, if you want to go to restroom, you can use the restroom. That's okay. Only 16 minutes, so let's keep walking. Here we go. Now we arrive to Saga Arashiyama Station. After you get out from the station, just going up. Always oh, great to meet you guys. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> so, this is how the station looks like. There is a restroom over there and also the signs. If you are heading to Bamboo Forest, use the South Gate. So this is the way. By the way, from Osaka Station to Arashiyama Station, it costs 990 Japanese yen. From Osaka to Kyoto, 580 Japanese yen. So compared to Shinkansen, it's much cheaper. In front of the Saga Arashiyama Station, there is a Saga Troko Station. This is the Troko running in the forest. It is really beautiful and fun. You need to buy the special ticket, but the ticket costs only 880 Japanese yen. One thing you have to be careful for is that you can't use the JR Rail Pass. If you were visiting here during the autumn season, it became really beautiful. So I strongly recommend to try this Troco. Last time when I came here, it was about a year and a half ago during pandemic. So this place was closed, but now it's open. So now let's go to check the bamboo forest. So we are here, and the bamboo forest is around here. The easiest way is just keep straight beside this station. 
Let's keep walking. You will get to the intersection and go left side. Yes, there is a sign, so it's easy to go. It looks like a local street, but you will find so many travelers, so probably you won't get lost. And when you get the corner, just turn left. If we keep straight, we will get to Togetsukyo Bridge. We will get there later. But first, let's go to the bamboo forest. Yes, this is the way. <laughs> oh my goodness, really? So this is the way to go to Chikurin no Komichi, Path of Bamboo. Wow! By the way, from the station to here, it takes about 9 minutes. Yes, it's not that far. Definitely, it's walking distance. Oh my goodness, it's my first time to visit here after the pandemic and wow! Well, I knew this place would be super crowded, but it's much more than what I thought. <laughs> it's a small pathway in the bamboo, so it's very walk. It's like, you know, I'm in the Matsuri Festival. <laughs> Interesting. By the way, if you use the rickshaw, they have a special way and that place. The pedestrian cannot enter there, so you can take a cool photo with them. Wow, very interesting. Oh, now they got the new trash can over here. So they used to have the old trash can like this and always, you know, the trash everywhere. But seems like finally they could solve, I hope. <laughs> Last time when I came here, because it was during the pandemic, no one was here. It might be really interesting to watch it from now. About two years ago, well, two years ago. Yeah, I filmed it in the same place. If you haven't, please don't forget to check this video. Yes, Nonomiya Shrine. That's one of the most popular shrine over here. This is the way. This shrine is really popular for dating couple. Many Japanese dating couple visit here and write wish to the Emma. Emma. Yeah, the wood boy called Emma. Most of Japanese, we don't have religion, so that's why we celebrate the Christmas and after that, we go to pray for the shrine. Yes, I know it sounds weird, but that's kind of like Japanese culture. If you ask many Japanese, probably they will say they are the Mushukyo. Direct translation is atheist. However, they don't mean that. They more means like, you know, no religious person. So yeah, if you know the background, you can understand what they mean. I was born and raised in a Christian family and I'm a Christian. However, Japanese Christian population is less than 1%. So it's really rare. In here, there are just so many shrines, but it will take forever. So now, let's go to the Togetsukyo Bridge. Oh my goodness, seems like more and more people are coming here. It is really beautiful and you can have part of nature. Yes, nice place. <laughs> Probably that's what you see on the Instagram, but in the real life. Welcome back. <laughs> yep, that's Kyoto. So now we came back to the street. To Togetsukyo Bridge, you just need to keep straight. I was thinking to eat around here, but it seems like definitely it's not a good idea. It's all green now, but the end of November, the trees changes to the red color and it becomes really beautiful. If you're visiting here during November, look forward to it. Well, that's a fake tree, but yes, the trees becomes like this. <laughs> Look at that! Rirakumakari! And the Rirakuma Teishoku! Oh my goodness, it's so cute! <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this place! Chiriman Museum! Wow, nice crafts! Really beautiful and cute! Wow! I believe that's for babies. The price is 11,000 Japanese yen. Those are the small traditional Japanese toy called Okiyagari Koboshi. Even how many times they fall and slip, they always stand up. <laughs> we have the proverb, 
七転びや起き、meaning seven times fail but eight times come back。yes。the challenging spirit is the most important tip to success。They also have the coin case. One is 550 Japanese yen, three for 1430 Japanese yen. Oh, here they have udon. Also, they have terrace seat. Oh my goodness. This one looks pretty good. What is this? If this place is not that crowded, let's eat here. But before, let's go to the Togetsuko Bridge. Oh, the last time when I was here, it wasn't decorated like this. It's Araden Arashiyama Station. Oh my goodness, that's so beautiful. This place smells so good. And it has nice atmosphere. Wow, it's a very cool station. Nice. Here they have soda, udon, and katsudon. Katsudon itself, 1,100 Japanese yen. Thinking about the place, I think it's pretty good. What else we have? <laughs> yep, seems like even 3 p.m. everywhere, it's super crowded. Finally, we are here. Yes, Togetsuki Bridge. It's one of the signature and the historical spot of Kyoto. Very traditional place. The original Togetsuko bridge was here about 1200 years ago. We see this bridge in so many old pictures in the textbook. Alright, we came back here. Let's go check if the seat is open. It's 3 p.m. now, so I think it should be okay. Oh yeah, they have open terrace seats, so maybe we can eat there. Let's go. Oh, nice atmosphere. Here we go. Seems like they have the dessert menu over here. And what else we have? Oh yeah, this is the one we saw over there. There are the steak, gratin, and also tara, which is the cod. Plus something veggies. Well, the tara, it's a white fish, but it's a pickled white fish, so should be okay, I hope. And shabu shabu. Steak and curry. Interesting. Oh, look at those shaved ice cream. Must be good. Do they have the craft beer? Okay, seems like they have the uh, local chuhai, but they don't have the craft beer here. Oh, by the way, I cut my hair and pump my hair. This time a little bit shorter. How is it? Do you like it or it's okay? This time I asked my dad. Please let me know in the comment. Ooh, anyways, as I expected, everywhere it's super crowded. And I'm super happy that I could find a place that I can eat without waiting. Love it. Ooh, I was starving. And you know what? This dish smells so good. So, <laughs> must be good. Let me start from this steak. Well, probably that's a steak sauce, I believe. Itadakimasu. Mmm. It's so good. Unfortunately, it's a little bit small. However, it is really soft and tender. Loving it. Mmm. Well, I thought that's a steak sauce, but more like dressing perfectly matches with this onion. Yeah, you know, more like eating salad. And here, that's a gratin. Inside, there is a crab meat and also the mushroom. Nice crumb perfectly matches with this mushroom. Oh. And how about this one over here? It's tara. Tara. Called in Japanese called tara. This one is the deep fried and I believe it's a pickled tara. So if I have a allergen white fish should be okay. Anyways, itadakimasu. 
Mmm. Oh shit. Gentle soy sauce flavor. Nice matches with this veggie. Mmm. And the last one. It's nimono. Nimono. It's a traditional Japanese style food. The stewed veggie. Mmm. Well, compared to other dish, it has the gentle flavor. However, nice dashi flavor. So probably, if you like Japanese food, you like nimono. Mm. Well, in case I got the allergy on the white fish, I just ate one. If I got the allergy, I will post it on my Instagram story. If you haven't, please don't forget to check my Instagram account as well. Woo! So that was pretty good. All right, so next, let's go to Kiyomi's Pera. By the way, view from the terrace scene. <laughs> Can't really see much, but that's okay. Whew, that was pretty good. Speaking of the price, it was 2,580 Japanese yen. Well, compared to the local food, probably it is expensive. However, we are at the center of the tourist spot. Thinking about the place, I think that was a good price. Anyway, so let's go to the Kiyomi's temple. Let's go. So we used Araden this time. So we are heading to Shijo Omiya by this train. Okay, we have empty seat, so let's sit down here. <laughs> it's a nice local train. We ride this train for 20 minutes and after that we take a bus. Right now it's 3.45 and Kiyomi's temple will close at 6 p.m. So hopefully we can make time. But yes, according to Ryo Ishida, I'm the person sure we can make time. This is the route we use. We were here, Arashiyama, and the Kyoto station is about here. And the Kiyomizu temple we are heading to is around here. It seems like it takes 1 hour and 13 minutes. Yeah. It's pretty far, huh? <laughs> Alright, we arrived to Shijo Omiya station and from here, we take a bus. It costs 250 Japanese yen. So the bus station, we have to take a bus, is just in front of it. Must be over there. Seems like we have to wait 13 minutes. Number 207, that's a bus we have to take. Speaking of the Google map in Japan, it is pretty accurate. So if you want to find a way to go, you can just use the Google map. <laughs> Sorry, it was the wrong bus. Actually, I thought that's a bus we have to take, but I asked the bus driver and he told me, you know, that's a place. So yeah, not that one over there, but over here, I believe. Let me see. Let me find out. Yep, the 207, this is the one. And uh, they are heading to the Kiyomizu though. So yeah, must be here. Again, when you come over here, don't make a mistake. That's the station over there, Araden. Shijo Omiya station. And that's the bus stop. Yep, the 207, that's the bus. <laughs> You know what, this time I didn't check it carefully, but speaking of the Google map, it is pretty accurate in Japan here, so you don't have to worry about it. Speaking of how I realized, you know, that was a wrong bus, because whenever I ride on the bus, I always talk to the driver if this bus is going to the place where I want to go. And he just simply told me, and that's a wrong bus. So if you are visiting Japan and whenever you are not sure, just ask the bus driver. They are welcome to tell you and teach you which bus to take. I was born and raised in Osaka, which is the next city of Kyoto, and I've been here many times. But even me, I make sometimes mistakes. So if you are visiting here, if you are not sure, just ask the driver. Yes, that's Japan travel team. Yes, 207. That's the bus we have to take right now. It's almost 25, so only two minutes late. Not that bad. Let's go. Oh my goodness, it's super crowded. <laughs> wow. But seems like so many people taking off the bus here. So it should be fine. Oh, still we can find a seat. 
We just arrived to Shijou Kawaramachi Station. Seems like there are so many people heading to Kiyomi's temple. I don't think everyone is safe. Probably some people will need to wait for the next bus. Next stop is Kiyo Mitsumichi. That's the stop we have to take off. Probably most of people take off the bus from here. Price cost 230 Japanese yen. Seems like so many people waiting for the bus. Yep, that's a long line. Sweet, it's always great meeting guys. Ready? See you. Go! <laughs> <laughs> Sweet, it's always a pleasure to meet with you guys. If you see me on the street, don't forget to go to me so that I can realize you are the viewer. Anyways, let's keep walking. Let's go. Now we are heading to Kiyomi's temple. You just need to keep straight toward to the mountain. Probably you can realize by the, you know, the tourist walking. So speaking of the travel situation, yes, it is totally different compared to the last time when I visit here. It's Tuesday, yes, it's a weekday. However, as you see, there are so many people waiting for the bus and the, some of them even couldn't ride on the bus. So they had to wait for the next one. If you are planning to use the bus, probably you'd better, you know, have the extra time. Or if you are in rush, probably you want to take a taxi. But uh, yeah, that's how it is. Feels like I'm in Kyoto now. Anyways, let's keep walking. By the way, it's 4.55. Today's sunset time is 5.20. So probably we can see the sunset at the Kiyomizu stage. Now, let me give you guys a small Japanese lesson. House in Japanese? Ie. Ie. But, uh, you know, all the house in Japanese, it's at the advanced level. Kominka, kominka. All the small house, like this, kominka, kominka. Well, it's a difficult word, but it's better to learn the vocabulary, right? I will teach you more difficult Japanese too, so if you haven't, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. All right, again, great to meet you guys. Ready? Hey. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Loving it! <laughs> nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. Maybe we will run into you again. <laughs> I just met them in Kuromo Ichiba Market during the live stream and today here we go! <laughs> I'm loving it! Now we are getting closer to Kiyomi's temple. Oh my goodness! <laughs> wow! That's something interesting. Really? Oh my goodness, I can't believe. All right, sweet. Great to meet you guys. Ready? Sweet. Go. <laughs> Loving it. <laughs> yep, if you see me here in Japan, go to me. Oh my goodness, it's really hard to walk here. Seems like there are many students by the school trip here too. That's why it's more crowded now. So we still have 52 minutes. Should be fine. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> really? <laughs> Never mind. Let's keep walking. That's Neomon. The gate of Kiyomi's temple. Almost we are at the entrance. Let's go. There is a small hole over there, which is a pretty dark one. You can just go into it and then come out. This place was closed during the pandemic, but now it's open. Already closed though. The entrance is this way, however, we can have the great view from here. We can look down the Kyoto city beautifully. Especially sunset time, it's really beautiful. You see the tower in front of you? Yes, that's Kyoto Tower. Kyoto Station is over there. From the stage of Kiyomi's temple, it would be more beautiful. Let's go check. I'm excited. We need to buy the ticket there. Price is 400 Japanese yen. There we go, so that's the ticket. Sweet, let's go inside. Ah. Beautiful. It's really beautiful place, but I'm wondering how much they make. 
The entrance price is 400 Japanese yen and so many people entering. They are the religious organization and the religious activity. Religious activity, they don't have to pay for the tax, so yeah. After travelers came back, probably they have uh, enough money to fix the temple. <laughs> Sorry, talking about the money stuff in temple. I know, it's not proper yet, but I studied finance and I was an accounting fan, so you know, I couldn't help thinking about it. Well, but what I want to say is that I'm super happy to see finally travelers come back to Kyoto. Loving it. Here we go, we are at the stage of Kiyomi's temple. From here, we can see the town really beautifully. <laughs> Stage in Japanese called Butai, Butai. So this place is Kiyomizu no Butai. We can see the stage beautifully from there. So let's go there. Yep, the view from there. <laughs> Maybe it's because of the sunset time. We need to wait until we get there. During pandemic, when I came here, I could take photo by myself over there, but now, yes, it is impossible. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful sunset, but uh, it's just so many people over here, super crowded. Even here, so many people and the super crowded, but uh, the sunset never changes and really beautiful. Look at the moon. Really beautiful. It calls Mikazuki, Mikazuki in Japanese. Outside getting darker now. It's 21 degree right now. Get a little bit chilly. Yeah, you need a light jacket. It's the waterfall. Thinking about how many people here. Line, not that bad. Eh? Today, the gate closed at 6 p.m. So we were right on time. Now, let's go back and check the Kyoto station. Sunset time. I like this street more. Before going back, let me show you guys one of the most popular and beautiful photo spot. Just keep straight from the Kiyomi's temple. When you see the corner, just turn right and keep straight. This place called Sannenzaka, Sannenzaka and still keep straight. You can find a nice cap store on your left. But still keep straight. Just keep following the street. And now you find the Ninenzaka on your right. If you keep straight here, you will find a Park Hyatt Hotel. I stayed there at the suite room. It was an amazing experience. That was a super fancy, nice hotel. There was a year as well. <laughs> welcome champagne and welcome strawberry too. Yes, it was an amazing experience. If you haven't, please check this video. Anyways, don't turn right there. You just keep straight and uh, you will find the spot. Probably we will find many photographers there. <laughs> yeah, here we go. It was super quiet, but suddenly it became a Disneyland. Yes, this is one of the most popular photo spot here. You can take really beautiful photo. If you search the photo of Kyoto, at least one photo you can find this place. Yes, it is really popular spot. Yasaka no to, Yasaka no to. So we came back to the main street. There is a bus stop over there. I'm wondering if I can ride the next bus. I don't want to wait for the next next bus. Oh, seems like not that many people waiting. That's okay. Let's wait. Number 206. That's a bus we have to take. Yep, seems like it's not that bad. It's super crowded, but still we could fit in. We are at Karasuma Nanajo station. One station before from the Kyoto station. I wanted to walk beside the Kyoto Tower, so I took off the bus. The price doesn't change though. All right, sweet, great meeting with you guys. Ready? Soon. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs> Love it.
Wait, love meeting with you guys. Don't forget to get to me if you see me on the street. Yes, that's Kyoto Station. It's a huge station, huh? Sweet, finally we came back to Kyoto Station. By the way, if you are keep riding on the bus, you will get to this bus stop. Let's go to check Kyoto Station. It's a beautiful station. By the way, that's a pregnancy sign. If you see the people with that badge, sometimes struggling, please help them. Yes, that's a sign for the pregnancy in Japan. This is the view of Kyoto Station from higher place. We were going up and up more and more. Let's go to the Kyoto Station's free observatory. Wow, seems like they are having some event. Let's see what they have. So she's making a tea and the light is following her move. Nowadays, science collab with Japan tradition tea ceremony. Very interesting. Anyways, let's go to the observatory. Yes, it's in the higher place. So this is the highest place and now we are heading to that skyway. The entrance is there. Skyway. So this is the way to go. Inside there are many restaurants. Most of them are ramen here. You can just follow the sign. Keep straight. Skyway. Let's go. Oh, it's lighted up. More beautiful now. When I visit here during summertime, it was so hot here, but now it's not hot, not cold, pretty comfy. Here we go. We can see the Kyoto town from here. Nice. Yes. That's a street we were walking. So we just came down from there. After passing the skyway, there is a nice square. Is that the Christmas light? No, it's too early, right? Maybe it's Halloween light. I love Kyoto Station's atmosphere. Oh, from here, we can see the tea ceremony. Wow. Amazing. So came to the quiet place now. This place a little bit dark, but uh, super quiet. So I think it's a good place to take an ending. So speaking of the Kyoto travel situation, yes, there are just so many people and probably will be more and more until December. Some places, you know, because so many people over there, so it's hard to visit, but because there are the pandemic for a long time, I feel like, you know, more people, more fun especially in the travel spot you know it's like we are having matsuri over there so i love it anyways hopefully you guys could see how the kyoto travel situation right now in the future i'm planning to visit more places and making a travel update so if you haven't please don't forget to subscribe so that you will not miss my new video in the surprise live stream and also if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button it will really encourage me to keep shooting videos and big thank you to all of the Patreons. If you haven't, please don't forget to check my Patreon account. Alright, so hope you enjoy virtual traveling to Japan through this video. So see you in the next video. See no gal. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye bye. Kyoto Station, definitely more people, more fun. Because there are more events like this light up. During the pandemic, it was too quiet. So, kind of samishi, samishi. Today I could meet so many of you guys and I really enjoyed it. You know, someone be in the vlog, but someone was just too shy. So they don't want to be in the vlog, but uh, you know, I could do go with you guys. And it was really enjoyable, pleasure to meet you. Again, if you see me on the street, don't forget to go to me so that I can realize you are the viewer. This place already really beautiful, but uh, you know, the Christmas is coming. During the Christmas season, it becomes more beautiful with Christmas lights. 
Christmas is my favorite season, so I am really excited. Yes, I will make many Christmas lights video. So please look forward to it. And also, if you are visiting during the Christmas season, see you in Japan. I look forward to it. So see you soon. Shoo.